Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. That hilarious sound was my aerator. To, for, to pour red wine, you must aerate it to make it taste good. Um, I'm not gonna be drinking it, but it's aerated because that's, that's what proper people do with their wine. Welcome everyone, welcome to my stream. This is Cnor Art. My name is Kat and I do art here on Twitch. And tonight is my bonus stream since I won't be here tomorrow at my normal time. So I thought I would do something fun and paint with wine. Yep, that was the weird sound that you were listening to was was this this little beautiful thing right right here. It aerates your your red wine. So yeah. How's everyone doing? this evening. Is everyone doing great? Um, I know here in Indiana it's been raining all day and right before like I started up the stream I realized that uh, it started thundering a little bit so I'm not really sure how this stream's gonna go um, depending on the weather it might get a little a little crazy so if we unexpectedly just stop streaming you'll know it's due to weather <gasps> Siamen! Siamen, Siamen! Seven says hello, he waves tail. Yeah, yeah, hello, Siamen. You want to say hello? Oh, Let's see if I can grab him. Say hi. So my name is Seven and my mom's a dork, but I love her. Poof. Oh, kitty fur, right in the face. Right in the face. Aw, oh, Ginger, is your black cat scared of thunder? That's so sad. My kitties haven't really paid attention to it, but I don't know where Newton is, so he might be scared. Yes, I'm a lovable dork, but I am a dork nonetheless. Yeah, the pet, the pet. You can see the tail. And all the fur, my goodness. Wow, that is a lot of cat fur. It is the time of year for a ton of cat fur, unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right. So let me see if I can get all plugged in. Normally I'm all like have my headphones ready to go and everything like that. But since I needed to pour wine this morning, I was like, well, I'll need to pour wine not near my computer. That sounded like a bad idea. So let me get plugged in so I can hear any alerts or anything. Oh, let's see if we can change up the music a little bit it sounds a little too dreary it's a good it's a good song but yeah we'll do this one much better much better all right I did want to show you guys something before we get started since it's a bonus stream it's a little more relaxed I hope you guys have your drinks with you I hope you have your favorite snack. I hope you have your favorite kitty. I've got my kitty right here. Don't know where he's going. Oop. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thanks, buddy. He like stepped right on my cord for my headphones. Now let me see if I can show you guys something really quick that I found. I went for a walk in the rain today. And when I went for a walk in the rain today, I actually found this little guy which is, um, it's a robin's egg. Unfortunately, I don't think this robin's egg hatched. Um, I think that maybe a crow or a blackbird found it and had it for a tasty treat, unfortunately, which is kind of sad, but it's so pretty. I, I've never found a robin's egg before, but it is a gorgeous color of blue. I really like that. Oh, where are you going, Seb? You're just gonna, okay. Are you comfy? Are you on my, are you doing good? Is that where you want to be? He's like, yeah. See, he's, he's awkwardly on the arm of my chair. All right, so let's show you what we're doing today. We've got our, our wine. It's uh, red wine. It's very dark. It's very purpley. And let me move my, my little, little, little thing. scooch up my chat so I can see it okay all right so what I thought we would do tonight is a snake I thought a snake a snake would be fun to do um, and 
because I've been thinking about snakes lately. Can't imagine why. But uh, I have good friends who have um, really sweet snakes, really, really cute snakes. So yeah, I thought snakes would be fun to do. So since I'm gonna be using wine tonight, I just wanna let you know that the brush I'm using is not a brush that I care about. This brush, I don't even know if you can like hardly see it, but it's got like wild hairs, it sheds, it's, it's awful. But that's okay, because I, I just need it to work long enough in the wine. So wine is acidic, and so I know that the wine is actually going to eat not only at the hairs of my brush, but it's probably going to eat at the glue in the filbert right here that holds all my brush hairs together. So if you want to do this painting on your own at home, just keep in mind that just don't use a brush that you like. Just use a brush that you don't mind trashing just because of the nature of the beast. So yes rip my brush my brush will be ripped um it's like with all those wild hairs and the way it loves to shed i was like i don't mind i even think that this particular one when it was when i bought it off of online even like the handle is broken so i was like i'll save this brush for a special occasion and it was for that hello north hello i hope you're having a great evening it's good to see you in chat oh digitally paint along sure that sounds great hello pendrin we should give it a proper Viking funeral. Um, sh sure, sure. If you if you can find a lake or a river that we can, like, set a funeral pyre on, we'll, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. So for my snicker snake, I um went ahead and just used um a little bit of watercolor pencils so uh, for my underdrawing. So it's a little bit darker, but I just wanted to have that little extra punch of the purple underneath. So that way, hopefully when we build up layers, it will work out just great. So I think what I'm gonna do, I need to wash my brush a little bit. I think I've got something gross on it. <laughs> there is a small lake outside, but I don't think my neighbors would appreciate me uh, setting something on fire and setting it in the lake. Might give all the teenagers that live in my neighborhood a little too much ideas of what's going on. Give them, give them bigger ideas. <laughs> So I'm just going to apply a little bit of water and I'm just going to go and dip into that wine and then I'm just going to set it and see, see what it does when it's really light. I've done paintings before with um, coffee and tea, so and the thing with these paintings, because you're using a medium that isn't a really high in pigmentation, but does they do like to stain is you just have to be patient and just keep working on the layers. So it's a lot of like adding layers and then letting the layers go and you gotta let them dry. Ginger, that sounds like an awesome story. Let me see if I can. Did a Viking ritual of sorts for an old friend's hoodie in college. Burned it in a fire and all the friends started singing. They were in choir. I'm sure that was gorgeous. Talk about an epic way to go. Must have been a very loved hoodie. What do you think, Seven? Do you think it's good? Yeah? Are you happy? Happy camping? Do you want me to scooch over so you have a little more, a little more room? Oh, 
Thank you, Seven. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Ginger, if you if you get buried with a bunch of confetti, that would be funny. You'll have to find a confetti that won't um, make sure that you're buried where the confetti won't break down naturally over time, so it won't be exposed to air or any kind of moisture. Ginger, I'm sorry your tummy's upset. Mather says, I'm glad that you're having a good relaxing time after a long day at work. I'm sure it's very nice to just sit back and relax. And have your, your favorite drink at hand. Thirsty Thursday! I know, we're so close to Friday, but yet it's not Friday. But we'll just start the fun early. With all the same wine, um, Sir Pendron, yes. I, um, I'm not a rich enough wine connoisseur to use multiple different types of wine. And currently, like, in the bot the only thing I have left is red wine. So you can tell I'm a white wine drinker because <laughs> I have no white wine in my house at all, but I have all red. Um, On occasion, red wine is very nice to have, but it's just one of those tricky wines for me. North, yeah, we can do Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday would be fun. And um, Pendron, I won't be using different colors. This will be on monochromatic um, painting. So what I'll do is I will just keep adding on to um, the colors and using different values, using them art terms I learned in art college um, to be able to build up the painting. So it should be just the purple of the um, watercolor pencil and then the purple pink of the red wine that I'm using. And if you're curious, if you're curious of doing this, um, I am using um, cold press watercolor paper. I normally use hot press, which means it's very smooth. But this paper has, let me see, I don't think you can see it um, in the video, but it actually has like a bubbly texture to it. So you can absorb more water. I had bought this particular block of watercolor paper and then realized that, um, I don't know what they did. It's the first time I ever had it, but there's actually like glue all the way around the edges of the paper that keeps it all the pages together. 
The glue on this particular paper kind of like seeped in between every single sheet of paper. So it's very hard to remove sheets of paper off of this particular block. So I don't do like super fancy paintings with this watercolor painting paper, um, just because I know that like, if I get super attached and then I try to detach it from the, the block, then it'll just like tatter and tear. And it's very sad to work on something for a really long time and want to take it off because you think, oh, this is pretty good. And then you realize that you basically ripped it trying to get it off of the um, watercolor paper block. should rename is it Thursday when you go to bars isn't that ladies night I can never remember it's been a long time since I've done ladies night but I think they should replace it with thirsty Thursday just just go just go to your local favorite hangout oh thank you ginger on Wednesdays can I Obviously, I never, I never cared enough when I attended bars to know <laughs> it was ladies' night. <laughs> yes, Pendrin, um, with uh, artist paper, they come in big blocks and all the pages are glued together. So you can get them, um, get them loose, but I really like to buy them in blocks because it makes it easier to transport a lot of paper together and I can throw it in my backpack and I don't necessarily damage my paper too much traveling so I normally buy blocks of watercolor paper All right, Pension, have a good time in Skyrim. Yes, and it is practical to have all your paper glued together. Yes, and I hope in Skyrim the, the dragons treat you nicely. Yeah, yeah, it is thundering here. So like I said, if for any reason the chat goes down, enjoy, enjoy your, your beautiful Thirsty Thursday and enjoy your drink. Yeah, like I said, it started grumbling just about like five minutes before I went live. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Wow. Hi, Seven. What's up, bud? Did you get a little bite? Wow. Are you are you coming back up? Wow. <laughs> well, if you don't hear thunder rumbling, you can hear Seven talking. Wow. Are you coming up? Okay. Okay, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come, come make me very hairy. Can you, can you do that? Yeah? Yeah? I need more cat hair in my life. You gonna sit down? Yeah? Take a boy. Oh, you're full of purrs tonight. You are so lovey-dovey. You're such a good boy. What is the cat fact? Ancient Egyptian family members shaved their eyebrows in mourning when a cat family cat died. Wow, that one is a new one to me too. I don't think I'd... I love you, buddy, but I would not shave my eyebrows for you. I'm sorry.
National Geographic kids. They can't go wrong. I really like National Geographic. Some really great photography is in that magazine. game well I have not seen all the movies so I'm just hoping it's I'm hoping it's fun to watch I know the movie is gonna be three hours long so I'm hoping it's fun to watch Infinity Wars was really hard for me to watch That sounds like fun with the cosplay for an event for crops. That's awesome. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please, please post pictures on on your social medias. I like to I like to see you guys. What's your cosplay going to be? Or I should I ask, what are you going to cosplay? That that's a that's English. <laughs> You can tell. It's been a long day for me. Oh, that's cool. I think a sketch, so are you mean like a sketch artist as like you're going to go there to do like live sketching or are you gonna dress up as an artist? Can you explain? Because I know when you go to cons, you, um, basically just do live commissions, which is so cool. And how fun it would it be to go with a professional cosplayer too. It is a, it's very, people who do that professionally are extremely talented. Oh, fun! So you actually are going to go there to do live sketching. Well, I hope you have a blast, North. I, that is really cool and what a great, great thing to do for charity. Oh, I'm sure the kids get super excited. Oh my gosh. Do you, um, Norris, do you have a particular um, superhero that you like really like, you just really love to draw? Like when someone asks you to do that particular superhero, you're just like, yeah, that's my jam. Sailor Moon! Oh my gosh. 
Did you grow up watching Sailor Moon North? I know a lot of people did. I was not one of those people, unfortunately. did not watch any type of anime of any kind until I was in college and um, and I I have to say um, I, I love anime now I'm really sad that I didn't catch on until so late but I didn't watch a whole lot of TV as a kid though <laughs> you get way too excited for it as an adult there is nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all. I really like um, card capture, Sakura card capture. I guess now the reboot is clear card. Um, I really like that. Um, I love the manga and the anime, so that's my favorite. I would love to do some fan art of that. Yeah, Mather says you're the one who, uh, who introduced Card Capture to me. Yeah, I, I love that. I love the, the revamp too. Keep hoping that um, another season will show up, but I haven't seen it. I haven't done any research to see if it, if they'll do um, another season of Clear Card, but I keep hoping they will. I haven't seen that anime either. Oh, Nora, thank you. Yeah, Princess Mononoke was fun. I'm huge Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli fan. Uh, we we plan to go to um, Japan next year, which I'm super excited. Never been to Japan, um, but I. Studio Ghibli is on on the list. I really want to see that museum. Yeah, I like doing fan art in my in my own style because it's funky. So um, it's it's my kind of funky. Ah, the cat bus, yes. I will do that. <laughs> J 
Cheshire. You know, lightning you can't control. Just, just gotta let it be. And lightning's not bad. Lightning's not what I'm worried about in the Midwest. It's the tornadoes that I'm worried about in the Midwest. But we had that big old cold front, so I'm not worried about that. It should not be a problem. <laughs> yeah, we did not hear the big boom, so I think it's on your, your side of town. Is there a tornado warning for Southern Indiana? Well, I just didn't think we got warm enough today to have any problems with that, but I guess, I guess that's not true. I do miss the sun though. I am ready for the sun to come out. It can come out and play anytime. Three days of hardly any sun, I'm done. Cold friends mean nothing in Indiana. <laughs> it's true. It's pretty much a back to life. <laughs> oh, hello, North. You crack me up. The panhandle of Texas tornadoes are it's just like afternoon entertainment. <laughs> yes, yes. When you live in Texas, they are afternoon entertainment. Um, yeah. Yeah, when those tornado sirens go off, it's like everyone just takes that as like an opportunity to walk out into their yards and look up. And you're just like, did she not hear the, t the warning? The sirens? Go Never mind. You guys have fun. I'm going to I'm going to go now. Yeah. taking bets to see who would go down first. Oh man, that's just, I don't know if I'd do that because I i don't want my building to go down first. Be afraid I would be tempting fate at that point. the Starbucks it's not like my hometown that has like like two Starbucks and I'm not even kidding they're like less than two city blocks apart from each other and I'm like the only thing that is separating them is like a, an overpass of a highway and I'm just still confused and baffled by that like you couldn't build another Starbucks further away from the only other Starbucks in town I I don't get it I know people love their coffee though. I am one of them. I really like coffee, but whew. Starbucks is a little, a little too expensive for my budget though, most of the time. It's a rare treat. And I guess, Ginger, the trick is, has that particular Starbucks in Kokomo gotten flattened by another tornado? Because if it has, they should probably relocate.
Note to self, don't live in that housing complex in Kokomo. <laughs> hate to know what their insurance policy looks like. <laughs> oh, math resist. You're not a lightweight, you're just a fun date. how real parties get started. <laughs> oh, North, you crack me up. <laughs> My coolers aren't really wine. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. I don't really particularly like wine coolers or what is it? Mike's Hard Lemonade or any of those other Smirnoffs, I think is the other that that's it's not alcohol. It's just, it's not, it's not for me at least. I don't like them. It's gross. Ginger, I'm glad that the, the song makes you happy. North fruity wine is is pretty good. So I have to send you some um, some local um, wine. Well, it's made in South Bend or not South Bend, but um, South Indiana, and um, they make really good fruity wines. So I'll have to send you some local wine sometime. Because if you like fruity dessert wines, they make some. They make like blueberry cobbler and I think there's like a cherry, there's peach. Um, but yeah, they make some some pretty good um pretty good dessert wines. Thank you, Pandren. It's French like wine. It's really good. It's really good wine. <laughs> Hello, Lumos. Welcome. Yes, snake. I Lumos. No worries. Um, I think. Yes, I I agree with you with the no headaches thing. Red wine does give me a really bad headache. It makes me really tearful. <laughs> it just makes me really emotional. <laughs> so when I do drink red wine, it's very little and not very often, just because. My body chemistry and red wine are, we're just not friends. But I thought since I had so much red wine in my house and I knew that because it's the only thing left in my house and I don't have any white wine, I thought, oh, well, I'll just use this, this wine to make a painting. That's a a responsible use of my wine because <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna drink it so I only have red wine in my house for guests but I haven't had guests in a while so I was like well I'll just I'll just do a painting Yes, Ginger, I like to paint with coffee and tea. You just have to make the coffee and tea super strong, though. Aw, 
So with coffee, it's fun because you can use coffee and um, just make it super strong and then make a diluted version for yourself, set it off to the side, and then you drink coffee and actively paint at the same time. It is really raining outside. <laughs> Good idea to use up all that red wine, yes. <laughs> yes, and I'll frame it and put it over the wine rack. Well, I think we've got two or three wine racks. Most of them hold seashells because <laughs> we, so we like to go to the beach and collect seashells and I never have enough wine to fill all my wine racks, so I just put uh, just big old uh, mason jars full of seashells in them instead. So it's my favorite thing to do when I go to the beach is to pick up seashells. Ginger, you have fun being an adult. Can you come over and do my laundry too? Because that would be great. Tomorrow's problem though. I will I will do laundry tomorrow. Yes, the beach. I'm gonna, actually that's why my some of my schedule is gonna be so crazy the next couple weeks is we're gonna get a chance to go to Myrtle Beach. Um, I think we're leaving Wednesday is when we're flying out. We go every year. I love Myrtle Beach, um, South Carolina. And it's warm there, I'm so excited. Like, they're like in full summer and we just can't seem to keep 80 degrees to save our lives down here. So I'm really looking forward to like some, some nice warm breezes and a beach. Just need that recharge. Yes, beach are fun. I love seashells. I like walking up and down the beach. Yeah, I like the sea. I like the sea in any kind of form. Like when it's rainy, when it's sunny, I think the beach is gorgeous. I love watching how light plays off of water and all the colors that an ocean can be. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. But while we're at the beach though, I plan to still use Discord. I plan to still use Discord to add art and whatever I'm working on because I never stop doing art just because I go on vacation does not mean I stop doing art. I do it all the time. So I'll be using my Discord to send photos and um, snapshots of what I'm working on. And if I find any fun seashells, I'll take pictures and I'll put it, post it on. Uh, Discord. Let's see what time it is. Okay, we're almost ready for a break. Almost. So what I was doing while we're getting almost getting ready for that break is that I was trying to establish my darkest darks. So a lot of this is very soupy, but and we need to let it let it dry a little bit to get even darker darks. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys heard that. That was a grumble. It is grumbling here. 
moving some furniture upstairs. Well, no worries. Seven snoring. All is good. Yes, Pendron, thank you. I will try to replace my battery during the break. <laughs> One of these days, I will, I will get into that good habit. Pendron, how was Skyrim? Did you, did you find a giant? Did you defeat a dragon? Did you find a, a fancy magical spell? Actually, I don't know what your character does. I don't know if you're an archer or a spellcaster. Dual wield, 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 wielder? <laughs> this is why you stick around, because uh, some days are harder than others. Where you do magic and something else. Thank you, Mathersis. I appreciate it. I'm not drinking, I promise, but I guess it's the fumes of the red wine <laughs> that are getting to me already. Oh, necromancer. Oh, so basically when your friends die, you're like, sweet, that's okay. I'll just raise you from the dead and you'll become my servants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Mathesis. We're just gonna have to get together and have a couple drinks and figure out which one of us is the lightweight. Because I'm not sure anymore. <gasps> Dad joke time! Oh boy. Dad joke time right before our break. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a bad dad joke. I'm not gonna say that dad joke. I did not like that dad joke. <laughs> it's just a hole. Oh. oh, okay, Pendron, you're a sword fighter. Okay, cool. Very cool. Oh, you're stuck on the plane where souls come from. Wow. Well, hopefully you won't be stuck there forever. Hopefully you'll be able to get out of there. I know that that's a particularly rough spot in Skyrim. All right. Well, what we're gonna do is I think it's time to refresh our drinks. Maybe use the restrooms if you need to powder your nose or other such things. And uh, yeah, let's take a 10 minute break. And I will let um, my painting dry a little bit, see how that goes, replace the battery on my camera, because I'm gonna remember this time. So let's go ahead and switch us over for a 10 minute break here for just a little bit. So I will be right back.
Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope that you all got a chance to refresh your drink or maybe grab your favorite snack. Hopefully you've got your favorite people around you. It's going for a great evening. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining me, this is Senor Art. My name is Kat, I do art on my channel. Um, and tonight is a fun stream. I am using wine as my painting medium. So it's a little bit different um, than what I normally do, which is makes me of uh, different things. So welcome, welcome. Barbel snack. I don't know if it's purple. I'm not really sure what color to, to choose for this, but I'll let you guys decide. If you think it's purple, then I'll say it's purple. I'm not, I'm not really 100% sure. Oh, you guys did dad jokes while we were gone. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll have to go back and read the chat here in a little bit, so. Mm-hmm. You, you say it's pink, Ginger? Okay. Okay, then it's pink. All right. Maroon. Can we do a, a pink maroon? What is a, like a, like a crayon box color that's pink and maroon? Can anyone think, I guess it would be called wine, wouldn't it? <laughs> you could just call the crayon wine. It's wine color. I'll just go with that. It's wine color. <laughs> today, tonight, we are painting with our crayon box of wine. It's just wine color. <laughs> I did see that um, North went off to go super lurk to get dinner ready. So thank you, North, for still super lurking, but I hope that dinner prep goes well. Some weeks I'm really good with dinner prep. Some weeks I'm not. Mav, Mavulus, Mavulus, a color of crown listed from Wiki. Well, they have all kinds of colors of crowns. They have so many different colors of crayons. It always amazes me when they retire a crayon color. You're just like, wow, you have so many different colors of crayons that you have to retire them. That just always baffles me. Marvelous. Not marvelous. Marvelous. Yes. It sounds, sounds like a lipstick color. So now I'm, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add some scales. So the brush that I'm using is called a round. So it's a very thin point at the end. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the brush do all the work for me to make the scales. I'm just using like the very, very end of my brush um, and I'm using hardly any pressure at all. Um, and that way I can make super easy scales and I, I don't have to work as hard for it. It's like when you watch Bob Ross like make trees or like clouds. It's amazing. He well, he's an amazing artist, but um, he he uses that to his advantage. Like if his brush can make the detail for him, he'll just use his brush. Like he won't sit there and try to like painstakingly like render it perfect and try to make it work. He's just like, no, if my brush can do it, might as well.
I don't know if any of you have watched snakes move through the grass or anything like that, but snakes move, they're really cool. If you ever want to know who wins an ab contest, if there's a snake competing, it's a snake. Snakes have amazing abs. Hi, Newton. Newton does not have amazing abs, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. You have a skirt. Just the cutest little, little bit of pudge. Yeah. My little orange kitty of love. <laughs> Neither says I try not to watch snakes. Uh, I don't mind if they're good. Well, all snakes are good in some um, aspect. They're important to their, um, their own ecosystems because they help keep rodentos down and all that good stuff. But if it's a poisonous guy, I, I really don't want anything to do with them. I'm not a big fan of rattlers. I'm more of the type of person who is like, just don't be on my property, don't be anywhere near me, I will leave you alone. Um, if I see you out in the wild, I'm walking the other direction. But like garden snakes, the little garter snakes, oh, they move so pretty. first art spin of the night. I haven't spun my art at all, or at least for an hour. Watch out for copperheads here in Indiana. I, you know what, I, I have not seen any snakes since I moved to Indiana. But granted, I haven't really been in an area that is really good snake territory. Because snakes like good, good cover and good source of water and good source of food. So... But I don't want to see a copperhead either. They're on that list like with water moccasins and rattlers. Nope, nope, no thanks. You have a purpose in this world and I will leave you to it. And I will leave you alone. Go over to wooden boas. They do have, a wooden boa does have cute snakes. He has um, a, a pair of female boas that are so cute. They, every time I see them, they look like they have two heads. Like it's just one big giant snake with two heads because they're always like intertwined with each other. They are cute snakes. There are cute snakes. Meow. I can remember when I was little, um, we lived in a really small town and we were pretty close to like some, to some natural water sources. So we would get like little itty bitty tiny like garden snakes or garter snakes. I'm not really sure what they were, but I can remember my mom picking them up and bringing them over to my brother and I, and we would just, um, like to see them in the wild and they were just they were just happy-go-lucky they didn't particularly want to be picked up but we didn't hold them for very long we usually just leave them alone we take the salamanders home for a little bit spoil them feed them and then we let the salamanders go we take them back where we found them Snakes with hats. Oh my gosh. Um, North, if you ever get a chance um, to go online and look at, um, I think I saw it on Twitter a while back, but there is people who make um, like 
little tube socks for their snakes. So it's just like these little snakes and like snake sweaters. They're so cute. So, so cute. Yes, Lumos, I agree. Nature is so much fun to explore. Yeah. Yeah, Lumos, you missed it. I, um, let me still have it around. Let me show you really quick, um, cause I know that you weren't here earlier, but I was on a walk earlier today and let me see if I can grab it really quick. Let's see if I can bring it over. So I, um, I found a robin's egg today on my walk. Um, I was just walking and I think this little robin's egg did not hatch. Um, it's too early because I'm sure that they just started nesting. So I think we've got a lot of blackbirds and crows, so I think it became lunch for someone, but it's just so pretty. I've never found uh, a robin's egg before, but gosh, look at that color of blue. It is so gorgeous. It's such a pretty color. Just wanted to show you since you like nature as much as I do. Hi, Breezy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great evening. It's good to see you. I was just showing off my robin's egg that I found. It's still um, still really soft right now because I think whoever had it for a snack like literally just had it this afternoon. So, But I'm going to let it dry and I like to keep it as a color reference for um, robin's eggs. Because that, that color of blue is so unique. It's got the prettiest shades of greens and a little hint of yellow. I feel bad for the robin that lost lost their little one, but hopefully they have enough time in this season to maybe have another kid or two. We do have a lot of robins in our our neighborhood. But we have a lot of ponds and stuff like that nearby, so... And there's some big, like, I've seen giant earthworms when I was walking earlier. It was raining, and so the earthworms were just basically, like, because it was so wet, they were basically swimming across the, uh, the sidewalks. But I definitely saw some of them that were at least maybe a foot and a half long. They were giant. So I know all the robins around here eat really well. <laughs> yes, yes. Snakes in tube sweaters are so cute. If you haven't looked it up, just just look it up. I'm sure there's a Reddit or a Google. They're, they're adorable. Lumos, if you can convince your local snakes to wear sweaters. <laughs> that would be really funny. I'm 
I'm just curious how that particular person got their snake into a, like a tube tube sweater because it was obviously like it was like a little like knitted or crocheted like little tube sock basically so it's not like putting your cat or your dog in a sweater it must have been a unique experience and a very happy-go-lucky snake Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Instead of Mr. Rogers, he's a snake. Oh my goodness. He will be the nicest snake in the neighborhood. Then y'all have outdoor shoes and indoor shoes, just like he has outdoor sweaters and indoor sweaters. Or I guess cardigans. He wore cardigans. I used to watch Mr. Rogers when I was little, along with Sesame Street. Those are good, good shows. Mr. Rogers was very progressive for his time. He was just a really nice man. Persona 5. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> know if snakes taste like chicken. I've never had snake. I have had um, alligator jerky. Alligator jerky does taste a lot like chicken jerky to be honest. But that's another, alligators and crocodiles are another type of animal that I'm just like, nope, nope, not going near that. I'm just gonna leave you be. Just gonna get that full art spin in. Almost there. I don't know if you can hear him, but seven snoring in the background. So cute. It was a long, hard day for Seven. And chase birds, watch the rainfall. Thank you, Lumos. Yeah. I like it when a brush does all the hard work for me. It makes it real nice.
It is a good way to let all my dark areas dry a little bit more. So, because they are still pretty wet, I can't really put any scales on them yet, so. My house is very noisy tonight and I apologize. It's just raining so hard that we're having to do a lot of draining throughout the house. Because it has been raining all day, so I'm sure our rivers are pretty full. Just like I know my yard's full, but that is good. I will not complain getting rain. Just miss the sun. But I'm solar powered, so I guess that the snick and I have a little bit in common. Need that sun to power up. Song I forgot to to take off my list. We will not do the song of unhealing. We will do something. We'll do this. This is much better. We'll do Pokemon instead. Is anyone doing anything fun this weekend? Since I won't be streaming tomorrow, I won't be able to ask you on Friday. Is anyone having a good, good plans? Ghost hunting! Yes. Yes, Ginger. Ghost hunting is should be fun. If nothing else, visiting historical sites are always fun. That's that's what I'm looking forward to. I like the, the stories. Um, for, I think it was two years ago, and Gen Con took a, a haunted, haunted tour of like downtown Indy, and that was really fun. It was fun hearing um, a lot of the different stories about um how indianapolis basically grew up you know like where they started and where they came from and how many of the old buildings still exist from back almost from the very beginning of the city and of course all the hauntings too so You're doing deck building this weekend. That's exciting. Is there um, any particular card you're looking for or anything you're excited about your new, I believe that's magic is what I saw in the chat for you, North. If 
I remember correctly, the new magic set that's coming out is like a revamp of an older set. Yes, we do. We do have a good friend who's going to be doing magic all weekend. Oh, there's Planeswalker in every pack. My goodness. North, what is your favorite Planeswalker? Do you have a favorite? I guess sometimes it's hard to choose. Oh, sorry guys. I, um, my weather radio is going off. So I'm gonna have to be all right back to take care of that. Hold on just a moment. I will get back to that. Hello, hello everyone. So sorry about that. Let's go ahead and transition back over. I apologize. We, um, we have our weather radio located in our basement because um, I, I think it was the first, um, let's see, we moved here in a summer. It was like late summer and um, I had put my weather radio upstairs thinking like, oh man, I really want to hear it. But the problem with your weather radio being upstairs is that when you seek shelter, the radio is upstairs and you're downstairs and you're like, you have like no information, no contact with the outside world. So especially when the power goes out um, and cell service can be spotty when the storms get big. So no worries. Um, the weather radio was just letting us know that basically there's a large thunderstorm um, heading south of us. Um, so our, our radio went off and wanted to talk about it. So, um, so as far as I know, we'll be fine. So it may move up and hang out with us later on in the evening, but it's all good. So it's just a thunderstorm. They're just letting us know that, you know, be aware of the usual things like high winds and big rain and maybe some hail because we've been cold. So it's all good. All right. I did ask a question. I'm trying to remember. I'm going to read in chat really quick because I know I asked a question about magic. And I, I want to see which one was North's favorite. Let's see if I can find it. Elena. Oh, nice. Nice, North. Yeah. And Pinter and Chandra. Chandra is fun. Uh, red decks are just fun. Like, they're like immediate gratification. You don't have to build anything up. <laughs> they just go in there and smashy smash. Storm and zombie tokens. Oh my gosh, North, you would be that person when you like sit down on the table and you don't know who you're playing against and they pull it like that deck out. I'm just like, 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, North does not like elves. Green ramp with tons of creatures. The only problem with like green green decks is that sometimes they take too long to build up the creatures to get to the big ones, and so if you, especially if you're playing a blue player, um, that time for build up kind of like oh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I like green decks, but I think sometimes they take too long to build. <laughs> you will laugh when you play. I can see North you doing that. Ah, <laughs> oh, rat army. Oh my gosh. Rat armies are underrated. People don't think that they're dangerous. They really are. You don't want a rat army coming at you. If you have any doubts, just watch Indiana Jones. Seven's already asleep again, good. And I lost my little girl. She's not there anymore, but she may come back. Ada! There's someone jingling. I don't know if it was Ada or Newton. You little girl, you okay? No, the weather radio is pretty alarming. You've had a big old week, girly girl. My cats are a little on edge this week because we had <coughs> the plumber come out on Tuesday and make a whole bunch of noise. And then, of course, it's grumbly outside and the weather radio went off. I'm not a big fan of big noises. Spin or snick snick.
you, Lumos. Appreciate it. It is fun. It's fun to do. I I like snakes. They're they're fun to draw. And this one's fun because I, I made sure to make it feel relaxed because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Um, this is my first time using wine. I've always wanted to use wine, so. But I thought all the scales would be fun to do. I don't know how long uh, a wine painting would last, to be honest, because of the acidity level in wine, so. But we'll see. Part of me kind of wants to go and um, put some ink to this later. But I haven't made up my mind about that quite just yet. It's exciting to think that tomorrow is Friday. We're getting so close to the weekend. Thank you for my uptime. It's been uh, slightly interrupted by the weather, but not too bad, not too bad. Thank you, North, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining us and drawing with us. Thank you, Mother says I appreciate that. You spent a lot of time in um, art school doing monochromatic. Because it teaches you not to get distracted by the color. Um, and really like makes you focus on where your light's coming from. So where your lights and your darks are. I'm learning a lot, so I know that if I, whoops, that was a big scale. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Oh, look at it merge. Look at it merge. Oh, well, it just has a freckle. We'll just call it a snake freckle. That was a snake freckle. Bloop. 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 Snakes can have freckles, right? Too much sun exposure gets a little freckle. Although they shed their skin, so they wouldn't have it for long.
Snakes can have freckles. Yes, they can. They surely can have freckles. Some snakes look like they're smiling. They're so cute. Almost in a full, full, full span. Almost. Oh, each is unique, just like us. You are so right, Lumos. Yes. We are all unique in our own way. It's what makes us so special and fun. Yeah, we should never shy away from what makes us truly unique. One of my mods could do another dad joke. I could use another dad joke. <laughs> I like that one, that one's good. What do you call a guy that is lying on your doorstep? A mat. <laughs> I like that. That one's good. Yes. Always have time for dad jokes. cats with me, Mathersist. I have got, I don't know if you can see them. I'm gonna twist around real funny. No, nope. you can just barely see Seven in the chair right there. You can see his thigh, his, li his little thigh. And then Ada is like on the floor way back there. Um, she's in her little cat bed. She likes her little cat bed. I don't know where Newton is. Newton might be with his dad. At least I hope so. I hope he's not hiding somewhere by himself. Whoops, I gave another freckle. That's okay. Oh, it's just gonna be a big ol' freckle. Trying to put those little, they've almost got like bars on their bellies, like those big flat scales on their bellies. I'm sure they've got a scientific name, I just don't know it. I'll have to look that up. Never thought about what snake scales might be called. I just know the ones on their bellies are different from the ones on top. Aw, 
Ginger, you have a very nice significant otter. Way to go, Ginger significant otter. Doing laundry. You guys are such good responsible adults. My laundry is breeding and multiplying. <laughs> I haven't touched it all week. <laughs> it's been a busy week. So it's taking advantage of the lack of attention it is growing. So like I said, Ginger, if you ever want to come over, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'll probably get to it tomorrow, maybe. I don't have a snake fact, but we have a cat fact. Oh, yes, I did know that about lions living in prides. Do you know what a group of cats are called? Does anyone know what a group of cats are called? What the name is? Because I have one. I have three cats. I have a group of cats. And they have a very fun name for a group of cats. from the 1940s <laughs> uh, a group of cats um, is actually called a clowder so if you have a group of cats that's what you can call them you can call them your clowder Oh my gosh, my two hours is almost up. Just finished doing these, these big old bands really quick. That's been a fun painting though. Infinity Gauntlet Nails. Yes, please do post your nails on Discord, Ginger. I want to see. I needed to redo my nails, but I just haven't done it yet. I probably won't have them ready for tomorrow, but maybe I'll redo my nails for before I leave. Thank you, Lumos. It has been a lot of fun painting with wine. It's that same kind of like, it's just like coffee. It's, coffee's also fun to paint with. And I have a French press. I could really do some pretty strong coffee and be able to do a really fun coffee painting if I wanted to. I might go, oh, we just we just popped over the two hours. I might just go just a little bit longer to get my snake a snack done. <laughs> well, that must be really cool. I can't wait until I can see it on Discord. Thank you for posting it on Discord, Ginger. Mather says, to be honest, I actually don't know since I have never used wine before, but the acidity content in wine is high enough that I think eventually it would actually um, age the paper prematurely. So um, I think over time, um, this paper will start to yellow and the color will fade pretty quickly. So... 
so it won't it won't keep these um, this color for very long before it starts to fade it's just because of the the grape juice and all the natural sugars um, will attack the paper and start to break it down but I may um, once this dries I may pop it in my scanner tomorrow before anything really gets started, um, before the aging process starts. Um, so that way I can at least have it um, for like my website or something. Lumos, you are right. It would be fun to ink it. I, I actually really do want to spend some time and put some ink on it. Because I think the wine is just light enough that it'll really make the ink work stand out. And it's easy to go crazy online work on snakes just because of how their bodies twist and bend in space and time. It's just really cool. So I'm sure you, sure you all are noticing I am going over time a little bit. So if you have to leave, no worries. Feel free to do so. I'm just going to go ahead and just keep working on little things just to kind of get, um, since I already have my wine open, um, to go ahead and finish this. Remember how I kept it this way. I just wanted to do a couple more art spins. It is fun wine. This is the most fun I've had with red wine probably ever. <laughs> I'm a white wine drinker. I really love a good Chardonnay. I have a lot of happy memories with Chardonnay. But I have to say this is the most fun I've had with uh, red wine. So it's been fun using it too. Oops, that's still very, very wet. That's okay. It's still wet too. Some of it is. Just add details where I can. It's also been fun to watch um, how this wine dries because it goes on like a pink color almost and then it dries to this mauve, um, mauve color, which is still really pleasant to look at. Also a fun fact about wine. If you ever get wine in your carpet by accident, you have a whoopsies. Um, if you ever want to get it out, just use um, hydrogen peroxide. It'll lift it right out. Unless it's white carpet, then I can't help you. But if it's not white carpet, um, hydrogen peroxide will take it, take it out for you so you don't have stained, stained carpet. It will also work on blood too. 
So I used to work at a vet clinic. So there was a lot of times where we'd get blood on the carpet. But hydrogen peroxide does wonders. Big ol' seven snores. No rainstorm will disturb seven sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I try to give a little, a little snake personality. I enlarge the eyes. That that's a common thing with my animals. Is I like to. It's probably because I have really big eyes myself, so I have a tendency to give them to my animals too. So it gives them gives them a little little fun. to the circle. I'm wondering how long I can add wine to it before it'll stop accepting wine. He literally has drunk goggles. His eyes are made of wine. There it goes. It's leaking. Oh, the eye. The eye is dripping. We'll just go with it. We'll just pull it. Loop. Like that. Nope. Now he has the next next morning like slightly like when you wake up and you drank too much the night before and you got like the poofy poofy eyes and you're thinking why why did I drink so much? We all have been there. Unless you don't drink and then you've never been there, which is just fine too. Mathers says. It's shorter now than it used to be when I was younger. I don't bounce back um, from drinking too much, but I, I don't drink a whole lot to begin with anyways anymore, so it's very rare for me to do that. I'm not a spry youngin anymore. But I'm sure my liver appreciates not having such heavy activity, so. Rinse my my brush. All right. Well, I think for right now, um, until I add ink to this little guy, I th I think I'm gonna call this this painting good. We uh we did a wine painting tonight, and um, if my mods could give me my uptime. 
Now some of that was interrupted a little bit by a break and a weather break because Mother Nature decided we needed a break too. So we did that um, in two hours and 11 minutes. Thank you, Breezy. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, Lumos, now you'd have a, a really, really great evening and thank you for joining me. And thank you to every single one of you for joining me. I'm just gonna double check to make sure I didn't have, nope. There isn't any new follows, but that's okay. I want to appreciate every single one of you that joined us in chat today. And if you were lurking in the background, thank you as well. It's very happy to have you come along with me for our little snaky adventure in wine tonight. Um, this is something I'm hoping to do in the future is that if I spend a lot of time, you know, just traveling and I'm not able to stream, I'm hoping to always try to make it up to you by doing bonus streams like this. So if you like using wine or like me to see if what would happen if I use coffee or tea, just let me know. Um, I'm always happy to do so. Hey, Seven, are you, do you want to say bye to everyone? Come on, buddy. Can you make it? I know you just woke up. Can you make it? Here, let's say bye to everyone. Come on. All right, Seven wanted to say good night. Good night to everyone and to remind you that if you would like to um, support me through my art, you can always check out my, um, my page on Redbubble. I have all the links um, here on Twitch. I also have some links um, scattered around a little bit everywhere. So um, I believe that I don't have my Owlbear, Owlbear print up there, but I'm hoping to do that this weekend. So if you would like to take an Owlbear home, you can do that. Um, also, you can follow me on all the social networks. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and Discord. If you want to join me on my Discord page, I plan to, as I travel, to add things every day to my Discord page so you can kind of see what I'm up to, um, get to see what I'm drawing as well, because I draw every day. But yeah, so have a wonderful evening. Just, just know that I believe in you and that you're a wonderful person and I will see you guys next week. So have a great evening and bye y'all. Let me switch us on over so that way you guys can have a, have a beautiful evening. <laughs>